Welcome to Next Topic Podcast, where the only rule is to stay on topic Mm -hmm. and no topic is off limits. Not one. This is episode two. Today's date is January the 7th, 2020. And if you were listening last episode, you would know that this episode, we are going to be discussing what we anticipate to occur in the year 2020. Last episode, we did a 2019 recap. If you missed it, go back, check that out because we did some introductions. You got to know a little bit about each of us and this episode, we're just going to keep it going and we're not going to go back. We're just going to keep moving forward <laughs> as we will do every next. week with, yes, the next topic. Next okay. topic. Get so right into it. I'm not going to start because I'm not ready yet, but we're going to talk about <laughs> what we anticipate for 2020. I have an idea in mind, okay. but I don't want to go first. You want to go first? Okay. No. Abel, you want to go first? Nah. I mean, shit, you feel me? I'll go first. Yeah, you go really then. Care. Yo, it's Light ready, it up. I'm talking about care. 2020 expectations. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like a gang in a building. 23 and uh, 3. We're going to win the finals this year. Fuck the Warriors. I'm a Laker fan. Okay, oh, congratulations. You know, Oakland. Hey, hey, I'm from Oakland, but I've been a Laker fan since I was a child. Get at me. I don't give he a fuck what y'all talk about. Uh, okay, okay. I'm not a LeBron fan. Let's be clear. I like what he does off the court. But you know what he does on the court? He's a great player. I can't take it from him. Mm-hmm. He's a great athlete. Absolutely. Yes, he is. Absolutely. A phenomenal athlete. But we taking it this year. We just got all the pieces. It's December. Finals are in May. It's actually January. January 7. It is January. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hey, drunk. Happy New Year's, everybody. But yeah. That was a week ago. It was a week ago. But go ahead. May is finals. Mm-hmm. I'm saying the whole point is it's a long time until playoffs. But it keep ain't going. that long. Who going to beat us? Go ahead. I actually cricket, do think cricket, cricket, you have a cricket, no, cricket, I think you have Clippers. a solid chance. I, I'm not I mean Bucks. you guys got a squad left. Absolutely. And this is Warriors time to rebuild. And I'm Absolutely. okay with that. Y'all okay. had y'all do five I'm years. not a fair weather fan. I mean, I'm a, a I'm fair, a fair weather. Yeah, I'm not. What's because fair? I'm a I'm a Raiders fan and we lose. Oh yeah. I mean, I was a Warriors oh, fan. Oh, fair weather. Yeah. yeah. I, was like, May- I was a Warriors Mayweather? fan <laughs> when we were losing, you know, and yeah. I'm okay with that. I know I'm a Raider fan too. That's how you like I like sports that's how you to know be I'm competitive. Loyal. Even if we lose, I'm still going to be a fan. I ain't a fan of none of these people. I barely know who these people is. <laughs> I'm like, let them go. I, I know. <laughs> I know who LeBron is. It's and, crazy how he didn't even say his anticipation for 2020. Oh, Lakers mean, anticipation? The Lakers going to win it. Oh, oh, that's anticipation. Oh, what? On. Okay. Child, help the people. Hey, but, alcohol is a hell of a drug. Yeah, okay. And we love it. it. together, 95. Hey, <laughs> I know. So, you know, the Lakers have been doing good. I didn't hear. That's what like, my little Bleach Report app be saying. 23. Um, so you know, I'm here for LeBron. You know, LeBron does his thing, great athlete, like well mentioned. And so I know, but sometimes I'll be watching a little basketball game for whatever. Um, a little basketball th- th- games. Th- I know the little ones, it's a lot of rules in these little games, <laughs> but to me, it's a lot of theatrics. To me, yeah, that, well, yeah. LeBron's a, a flop artist, I'll give you that, and James Harden. Oh, right, it, it's, a, it's a lot of like, oh, look at me, I fell. Yeah. Kobe would never. You should never watch soccer then, but keep going. Oh, yeah, I ain't got time watching people run across the field trying to kick a little ball. Like, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Yeah. Like, I got better no, things to do. Y'all nowhere. disrespecting football. I don't know what soccer is. That's the American term, my okay, bad. Okay, excuse me. Well, football. nigga, we Americans. International. <laughs> we are. Us three niggas is American. Not niggas Americans. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that could be you. <laughs> I'm a nigga American. <laughs> I, I'm telling Jeffy. <laughs> Who's the smoothie? Footy. Who's the hella, smoothie? Y'all mm-hmm. hella footy. Mm-hmm. You, Abel, mm-hmm. you watch basketball? I do. Yeah. I don't know what y'all call it. Yeah. Basketball. Okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm just making sure. He, he clowned your soccer, so I had to make sure. Football. We basketball. Dude. Okay. Yup. Mm-hmm. And who are you a fan of? Warriors. Oh, that's terrible. Yup. Yeah. Ain't terrible. Are you taking a break or you right now? Cause I don't know why he talking because he was the main one at the little parades and stuff like I that. I actually haven't been to not one I Warrior sworn parade. I could have I seen you on the floor. Oh, oh, the f- oh, 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 yo, big hey, brother, hey, dog. Oh, hey, oh, they, they do say I look like Clay Thompson. Who? Who? I'm just playing. Who said that? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Clay who? Wow. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, so. But yeah, the Lakers no. take it. You got, oh, you got some bets on the line? Not yet. Nobody want to bet me because we too good too early. Y'all yeah, ain't that good too early. Can't be. We 23 and 3. Mm-hmm. 23 and 3? I keep letting say 23 and me. I'm like, we don't have some ancestry. Um, but you know what? 
team I do like. That's a good record. They don't play basketball, though. You know, I'm a big fan of the Patriots. I'm here for Fuck winning Tom Brady. by any oh, means necessary. Fuck the play game. I love the play Fuck game. Fuck the tuck rule. Fuck all y'all. Do it all. You got to win. You got to win. LeBron over here flying around the court looking like Ariel's best friend. Like, let's do it. Mm. What was the difference? No. Nope. Mm-mm. And he got a point. You Next gotta win. topic. Next. Next. Topic. I was gonna say I don't even want against football. <laughs> got me fucked up. <laughs> Who got the next topic? Who got the next topic. Me. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Sure. We'll just. Cause them two it niggas over there quiet. I know. <laughs> I, I know what I want to talk about. I'm just. My so my next topic isn't. It's more like a New Year's you know type of resolution for me. Okay. For me. Wait, well, so your 2020 anticipation, fast forward, yes. is for you and only you. <laughs> yes. I, I can't be concerned. So fuck us on this couch. Yes. Fuck, fuck the crew behind the camera. Love the crew. Fuck the viewers. No, no, do the viewers like that because they might have the same 2020 resolution as me. So we in this together. You know, I have my little, you know, so, accountability so, partner. So you and the, uh, oh, what? you and the space walkers, shot space walkers. Not space walkers. Yeah, I'm calling your fan base the space walkers. <laughs> no, why the space walker? Shot space on Instagram. Yes, you got space follow. walkers. That's kind of cute. It okay, is. so what is your 2020 so resolution? My, you know, I'm trying to date more, y'all. Okay. You know, I'm trying to be out here in these streets. Thank God. But well, not in the streets. In the streets. Hey, for the streets. <laughs> hey, Abel, Instagram got your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm trying to be out here, you know, oh. trying to date more. You Instagram know, trying to got your out there. You know, some pickings for us, you know, gay black people out there. But, you know, I think I need to put myself out there more. You know, it's crazy out there. I was going to say, talk about it. So, what was 2019 like for you as a gay black man? Like, dating. In terms of date, in the dating, dating realm? Dating. So, you know. Non-existent. I dated. I went on a couple of dates in 2019. Couple meaning two? Nigga, it was two. 12 months. It, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yo. You know, it's hard for me to make it to the second date. The second... I know. I don't know. You know, us gay people can be a little, little just mental. It's a little harder here. It's only so many of us. A little. A, a little. Okay, a little. A lot sometimes. You know, okay, we keep it popping. There we go. We keep it popping. Let's keep but, you know, real. you know, the rules are a little different. For, what are the rules? I don't... I don't know the rules. Y'all got a different rule book? It is a different rule book because, as you know, like, the apps are different from us. So we can expect, like, as I've heard, you, you know. You said the apps? The apps, you know. You okay. got to be on all, all the apps these days. Okay, but, so you use apps, too. I use apps. So okay. a couple of them. You know, POF. You know, I got Tinder. You I got know, the grinder. I have POF. Yo. I know. We got the I same have no app. clue what that is. Plenty of fish. Okay. When I'm bored. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah when I'm bored. I'm like, oh, oh, I know. Lucky you. you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fat, maybe. <laughs> Not a maybe. So. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, so like on the app, like for Tinder, for example, you know how like straight people use Tinder for like a booty call? I hate Tinder. Okay. Keep going. But like gay people use Tinder as like a real legit, like we probably going to date. Because, you know, we have Grindr. Oh, yeah, Grinder the booty coffee. Yeah, y'all. you know, and Grinder g- gets the poppy. You ain't got nobody name. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <ain't> Lord. <laughs> when you go on Grinder. So it's like, it's like a different experience that yeah. they didn't have to use differently. That's just in my opinion. You know, people can use Tinder as straight people as booty call, but you know, I, don't, I ain't straight, but I wouldn't know. But you know, it's a, it's a different experience and a different, you know, because, you know, we don't get taught the rules like straight people do. We don't get a chance to know, you know, watch the TV shows and like learn, like, mm-hmm. oh, you got to do this. This is a person who opens the door for each other. Like, we both walk into the door like who opened it? Who, who opened it out? <laughs> you gonna get it? You gonna get it? I'm gonna get it. Like who pays? It's a different thing. Okay. Well, I guess that's the question of who's the that. dominant one in a relationship. But I don't. But think... But there has to be a dominant. Yes. One? No. Why you hey, can't look, share? I'm straight, but I am well versed in oh, the. Verse. Hey, hey, see, yeah, we can look. I know my lingo. Hey, that's my his word. He, he, he's, 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 not he's not saying he's not saying that. I'm not. I'm well versed. I just know. I'm well versed. I know. That's a word. Not verse. <laughs> Let's be clear. I'm straight as fuck. <laughs> Not as fuck. But I, I'm said. well educated <laughs> yeah, on the what? community. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. at some point, there is a top and a bottom, and there are various tops and bottoms. But you, somebody has to be the dominant one in a relationship. You so think that I don't the door? You know what I'm saying? Like, just like in a, in a heterosexual relationship. Yeah. As a man, I'm gonna open the door. But that don't mean you're the dominant one in a relationship, though. The- if he open the door, a, I don't think. I think that's you being courteous. That's be that's you being respectful. If I'm well okay, ahead of my man, I'm gonna open the Let's door. Say, walk I'm not in gonna lie. There's I'm been times for you behind me. <laughs> but I'm not it's gonna not, wait for you to open you the door. You a different breed. 
I, no, I Who mean, because ain't nobody holding door for me. But at the same time, so I don't you know don't have to look too deep into it. There's been times where I, I walked in and a girl will open the door and I'll say, thank you. I'll walk in. See, I don't, I don't look at it like my before. power went down or anything. It's just she got to it first. Like, exactly. I just yeah. don't feel, I just, I don't know. The way I was raised, I don't feel comfortable walking in before her. I know I'm supposed to hold the door up for her. I'm supposed to pump her gas, even if I'm a passenger. You know what I'm saying? It's just shit like that. You know she paid for the gas. You pay for the gas. If who car, car is it? I'm saying. Wait a minute. I'm saying, I ain't a trick what? now. I'm That's saying, different. Who car is it? I ain't got I'm money saying, like, like that. I'm broke, pump, baby. Oh, you ain't gas. broke. I'm like, you pay for it too. That's not speaking <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you gonna pay for it. You be in the passenger seat. Like, I got your pump. Like, yeah, I get to be like, you, don't worry you about get, it. I'll okay. Because okay. our dad made us pump the car <laughs> with him in there. So he's yeah. like, one of y'all better get up. Yeah, because he ain't doing it. He, he wasn't. He go pay somebody else's pump. I don't know if that was him being a bully or lazy or what. Hey, you or teaching, teaching a lesson, I maybe. Know. You trying to date more too in 2020? No. No. no, I'm trying to focus on my career, man. Okay, you like, can do I'm, the same. Yeah, but okay. I feel like I know. I know me. I'm okay. too easily distracted by vagina. Oh, like once oh. I get it, I'm gonna keep wanting to get it. I want to get after my money first. If it happens, then it happens. But I'm not chasing it. I'm not going after it. Mm -hmm. I need this bag, brother. Right. So, like, I, I was. Okay, I was gonna on. say it sounds like you need someone else who's also about career about that focused. Ex, and, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Because you know I've been about like very like career oriented for like the, for, like the past five years, and so like what I've noticed that like you can like do both. Like why cut yourself off from like one aspect of your life that you deserve and that like you need or want. So like it's like it's always like a balance in life that you should do. Like you, you can. Yeah, I know you shouldn't be like if. Times and place, and it can like fluctuate throughout the year or during times and things like that. But like, I think for me, I think I deserve it all. So I just claim that, can't you? right? <laughs> <laughs> I deserve it all, and I think I like in the past I like cut myself off to that because you know going after the bag, trying to be career focused, trying to get my education stuff like that. When I could have been doing both. See, you say that Balance. now in retrospect, you feel yeah. me? Mm -hmm. But it's a lot harder when you're doing both. I was going to say the same thing because I, too, had been very focused. On, I'm still very focused on my career. Mm -hmm. And I think having that focus and, quite frankly, being not the best girlfriend or not the best friend, really, um, that did allow me to get ahead in my career. And mm -hmm. I'm very happy with where I'm at right now. Um but I am going back and trying to be a better friend or trying to be more present in my relationship and not saying that I soured, you know, any relationships, maybe some to some degree, but it is extremely hard to try to split your time between the two. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely a balance somewhere in there. I mm -hmm. have not, I can't say I've mastered it yet, but you should have, I mean, it's all about building healthy relationships with the people in your life, with your career, uh, but it's very, very hard to do. Right. And, you know, I never shied away from hard work. I'm just saying, like, when you see people, like, either you like, you got a man and a good job. I'm like, I only got one. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it ain't a man. So, so like, like, it is possible, is yeah. like what I'm saying. You might not, like, be doing both of them well at the same time, but at least you're doing both of them. Yeah. 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 So and that's why I think like a little like time and focus and energy could be like adjusted for me um this year in 2020 so I can like try to like make that happen. Mm -hmm. And mind you, it is like easier said than done, of course, but you no, know, just like try to like live in that space mm -hmm. in Sean's space. <laughs> um and like try Shout to space in the space walker. Shout out to <laughs> y'all. Okay, so while you're talking about wanting to date more, why don't you just go ahead and tell everybody what you're looking for? Let's kind of you know, you know dig deeper. Yeah, I want to chop away at these. Welcome layers to the game here, show. Wanna be a space walker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walk in my space. For? Yeah. I think in terms of like what? And like everything? A no, man. You're dating. Oh, what? okay. That, that's what I meant. Like, cause, the you know, topic, right? The, okay. The, I, I know we, we, look, we ain't doing extra niggas around here. Well, you know, ancient niggas ain't that bad. No. You know, no. I, I know, but no. it's what you're looking ain't for. Like, shit niggas ain't that bad. That's a word. Keep going. <laughs> I know. Quote me. But I, it depends on, like, what I'm looking for. Like, for me specifically, if I'm, like, trying to, like, at the end of the, the journey, like, find someone to be, like, in a full-blown relationship with, like, it ain't 
shit, nigga, as we've been saying, ain't gonna cut it. I ain't gonna cut it. I know. I'm gonna beat his ass. So are you looking for fun or do you want like a <laughs> Period, nigga. serious relationship? I think I want a serious relationship. Uh, I think for a fact, think which me and my therapist have been talking about, I need like... Mental oh, health, A. Mm-hmm. I pr- props to you. My yes. short film... Keep going. Yeah, come, come I don't through. Even to put out a lot of hints, but keep yes, going. Uh huh. Like so, like I'm trying to be like in like a serious relationship. I think I just like moment in my life. That's like yeah. my goal. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's good because like when you like think about it, you're like I ain't trying to be like too desperate out here or no or try to be too thirsty out here. But I think it's like in the way that you maneuver and the way you go about your business will make mm-hmm. that impact on people. Like oh, he thirsty. Like I ain't like. We ain't been like sliding like random ass people DMs or nothing like that. Yeah. But you know, it is like our like moment in time, like where you gotta like you do like fly, have a slide into people DMs. Like yeah, you people gotta test the waters you feel. Me? Kind of stay sliding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. What it's like over here in this pond? Uh-huh. What's, what's this might, over here? You might get bit in one of them. Slide. Bite me, shit. <laughs> yeah, so. Like, just doing that, and like also, I'm not good at the whole DM and thingy and like this text all day. That ain't me. So that's where I've been coming to like a lot of trouble with it. Like, I don't want to text all day. Shit, I don't mean that. That's the world we live in, though. It's crazy because I feel like a lot of conversations that I've been having with my friends, too, is like uh, I I generally don't uh, use social media um, dating apps. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't. That's not my lingo. But some my friends, my close friends do. Mm -hmm. And they do find like whatever they're looking for there, whether that's like making friends, whether that's, you know, the quick fix, all that, right. whatever they want, like they find it. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, Hey, that works for you. But, um, I don't know. I have, I have trouble like, um, navigating that scene too. Right. like, mm-hmm. like social media dating. I think that's just like low key. I have Instagram and if I find somebody interesting, I will, I'll say what's up to him, but I don't think I'll be on social. Like, you know what I mean? I, so what I don't if think she slid in your shit and say what's up to you. I'll say what's up back. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, Shameless plug. Up? He says hi back, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, yeah. So I relate to you on that. I think. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, yeah. Social so is media that also just, one of your goals for 2020 is to, I don't know. I don't know if no, no, be out no. in I the think... streets is the right <laughs> no, way. No, no, I mean, the streets. As far as, us, uh, as, far streets. as like when he said navigating the social media dating scene, I think that's I could relate to him on that. Like okay. I think I don't I don't use that platform because I know it doesn't work for me, or okay. that's not the like yeah, that's, that's not what I do, you. or that's not the type of person I am. But as far as my goals for 2020, I think the path of 2019 has been so great. I feel like for me, as far as no, focusing on like personal goals and things like that, mm-hmm. I'm I'm hoping that 2020 also brings a lot of. Hey, shout out to us starting this podcast too. It was one of the goals, so mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I, like, you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. I hope that momentum carries over and just doing what I want to do, as far as like career, as far as like goals and the projects and things like that, and shit, um, the rest could follow. Like, I don't, I think mm-hmm. I'm 24, so. Mm-hmm. It could yeah. it could come oh, it could come yeah. when you, it come. Uh, you say you oh no oh. I'm saying like the baby it, nah, nah. <laughs> like it could come whenever it comes like I'm not really rushed for it but right. if it does come I'm 25 shoot. if I welcome them three life. years make a big like, difference a uh, big difference right yo eggs yeah. drying up oh don't do it. <laughs> It don't fall out like that. <laughs> Why he all rinsed funny. over? Y'all right. Funny. Okay. So your 2020 goal is to do specifically. I think to focus on um, to focus on being more productive. I think as okay. far as like projects, as far as career shaping, mm-hmm. um, what I want to do as far as like my future, mm-hmm. and I think that's an end like uh, end end noted. Is that is that a word? End noted. I, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, I don't, no, no, I don't think that one go like either. The answer like you can never say like this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, blah, 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 but at least for now, I have some goals in mind that I want to accomplish. And if I could put my energy and time towards that, uh-huh. I think I'll be happy for right. 2020. Mm-hmm. And the rest could come can follow with it. Like mm-hmm. as far as like everything, like mm-hmm. relationship, as far as like friendship or romantic, whatever. Mm-hmm. If it comes with it naturally. I'm welcome. If not, then it's just like, it ain't the time for it. Right. And I'll so, be forcing it. Mm-hmm. My question is, what does that mean for you, like, to focus or, like, on what you're trying to achieve? Because I know a lot of people go about it different ways. Some people have, like, a journal, right? Mm-hmm. Or passion, what's it called? Passion planner, things like that. Oh, mm-hmm. uh-huh. What do you think? You Vision f- boards. Exactly. Vision so board. what do you, where do you think you failed in 2018? And how do you think 
you can 18. sort of mitigate, you yeah, know. She drunk. 2019. Yeah, no. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I'm I got you. Whole, no, yeah, we, we on the same whatever. page. I got you. I think uh, starting 2019, I was more so like, okay, I want to do what I want to do. Like the like as far as I wanted to do like a short film. I've been when I, I wrote three scripts. I was like, I wanted to do that. I want to produce I it, right? Uh, but I never, <laughs> I never did it because it was like. I never had it like concrete plan. Like by this month, I want to start it. By this month, I want to end it. Mm-hmm. And I think towards the second half of 2019, that's where I tapped in most. I was like, I got to start it by this month. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're not even in control of starting it at that month. But if you just push for it, I feel like the world just has its own ways of connecting you to folks. Mm-hmm. Like like Cameron right here, like connecting you to people that yeah, just do me. the same work mm-hmm. as you I'm do. Connected worldwide. <laughs> this nigga, <Maybe>. right? oh, <laughs> so it's like oh. I feel like that's where I I think. The half of 20, 2019 taught me to to really put like the year like in quarters. Like okay, now twenty twenty from January oh, to March, I got a plan mm-hmm. for the yes. first three months. Okay, March to June, June half half. Yeah. 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 March to June. Yeah. Is that your final and, answer? Yeah, you work on yeah. that. March to June, I got <laughs> another no plan, or like a quarter, deadline. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So when that reach, I'm like, I'm I'm so okay with my mm-hmm. track. I think that's what I, the best thing that I learned. I agree. Yeah. I I it, I think it's very important to short to set those like short term goals and then those longer term goals. Um, I think sometimes you set the longer term goals without any short term goals. Like you just, you end up just kind of going, uh, you know, like going about things. Uh Yeah. Very willy nilly. And you don't actually get to do anything. And then you kind of fail doing those longer term goals and you just let yourself down. The cycle repeats itself. So Mm -hmm. um, I know that for myself, I did start to, set some like shorter term goals just mm-hmm. like for my own personal development in 2019 and i definitely saw the like the fruits the of all that labor yeah right. my problem with goals is like goals on a lightweight kind of scare me because like when i set a goal for myself i think it becomes real so when something becomes real and it don't like i'll yeah. make it happen for myself i'll be like super disappointed that i didn't do this so then it's like i stop myself from like setting like those goals or like you know kind of like downplay them yeah. Them in a sense. So I hear said you, that's but... like fear of failure. Like yes. you don't want to. F- but then what's on the opposite of failure is success. How do you how do you feel good about something you achieve that you set mm-hmm. if you don't set it? You miss a hundred percent of the shots that you, you don't, don't take. take. Right, but I, but, also, but also you don't lose. Is that Michael Jordan? Like like <laughs> is that Michael Jordan? Where? The quote. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't here, y'all. He ain't here. The quote. All right, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah. You you don't. You don't fail. You don't no, no. lose either. But you don't win. You don't win. But like, like in my head, like if, you, that, if you don't play look, the game, look, you can't that lose. That W you want you so badly game. is behind that L you are afraid to take. Mm-hmm. You have to get after it. You have to be able to lose to know how to win. I don't like losing. I nope. think who likes a lot of losing? Times but some no. people be losing. Like you, know you think crazy? they like it. You know what's crazy? Losers. I think <laughs> another thing that I realized too is like you learn a lot in the doing. So like yes. you just taking a step to right. say like this is my goal. I'm going to start doing it. Mm-hmm. You don't necessarily have to jump into the end conclusion. It's like I'm gonna fail, but yeah. you like you learn in the doing. Like you start it. Like okay, fuck it, I'm so gonna start it. Do it again, when you, you start doing it, like else. you start learning about yourself or the process. You're exactly. like okay, and then at the end, it's not even a matter. You you do reach your success, right? And mm-hmm. you're just like, damn, Absolutely. the success point is not even that important. What is important is like what you learn throughout the whole process. Exactly. That's I'm what I was through. gonna say. Cause you're cool, almost- <laughs> they about to preach about. Yeah, I'm no, just saying that's me. He got on his preacher shirt. Man, look at the come through velvet hey, preacher shirt. <laughs> Amen, brother. Joey. Amen. No, 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 but your goal eventually kind of changes. Like yes. what you think you need to achieve, it, it kind of develops into something else, right? Mm-hmm. So, and that's just you, you do quarterly reevaluations. Exactly, you setting that goal. It actually makes you kind of move in a different way, mm-hmm. and that movement is probably what's most valuable. Um, like if him. you're trying to, let's say you want to be a CEO. Yes, so let's say you start hanging out with more people who yeah. are CEOs. You yes. start behaving the way that they do. Maybe by the end of that year, quarter, whatever you the goal more. was, you're not a CEO, but you've developed that corpus of knowledge that mm-hmm. you like. Eventually, it may take you there. Right. So that's valuable. It is. You know, birth of a never pepper. mind the fact Fly that you didn't together. get there. All exactly. y'all hoes out there. Oh, my bad. (laughs) 
My bad. Wait, but CEO, how do we get to do with regular hoes? CEO, hoes. That's what I was like. How do we get to She's executive hoe? Okay, man. To all you hoes out the, there. The top hoe. Don't the do the hoes. Hoes are valuable members of society. I, I agree. They make the world go round. I'm a ball the, ass. I know, especially the corporate world, you know. <laughs> they the for corporate. sure. Not the corporate world. What? Them executives got top notch hoes in oh undisclosed places. Not Let, undisclosed? Let's be real. Them niggas is paying money for top notch pussy. <sighs> Next topic. topic. <laughs> yeah, you just went there. <laughs> right. Um, so, like, what I would that. say, like, to us, like, reaching our goals in 2020, like, we all can be, like, you know, accountability partners in a sense. Like, as we go through this journey, like, on this podcast, like, throughout our time together, like, you no, know, we hold each other accountable for, like, what we say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, and for our goals. And our wants, you know, and dream for 2020. Like, we see each, see each other slacking, call it out. I mm-hmm. like that. That call out culture so, is real. So, so, so you said what? the call out cu- culture call is out real? Call out culture is real. Don't be calling me. Out. Shit. Okay, my 2020. Okay, go, go ahead. Do your okay, thing. Okay, because you sounded like you was trying to do a little wrap up. Oh, no, no, no. He was wrapping up his topic. Mm. Hey, guess what? Next topic, go ahead. Go along. Yes. Okay, so. As we've already touched upon, like, it's really hard to kind of juggle and balance Mm -hmm. personal life and your work life and all that stuff. So my personal 2020 goal, and it's actually a goal that I think everyone should set for themselves, is to do more than what their job title is, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not... More details? Yeah. So nine to five, Monday through Friday, I am a program manager, right? Okay. That's not who I am. I don't want that to be like when someone's like, oh, what do you do? I don't want it to be like, oh, well, I work at this tech company and Mm -hmm. I'm a program manager. Like, I don't want that to be what I tell people I do. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of other passions. I want to like really put in effort. Like, I want to make effort and force myself to go after those other passions. What are your other passions? So one thing being for the longest time, I've always wanted to go into fashion. Really? Yes. Oh, (laughs) talk about it then, girl. What's what's good? (laughs) There's only a handful of people I've ever talked about this with, but I mean, I've been drawing since elementary school. Um, I know how to draw, but I've never taken, you know, to me. I, I took classes in school, but I've never, as an adult, I haven't taken any classes to try to like perfect my craft. Mm-hmm. And I just love fashion. Like it's something that I've always gravitated towards. Like I love buying new clothes and feeling material and like just thinking about the process that goes into making a piece of wearable art. So right? are you more on the designing side, the styling, Definitely. the manufacturing, like modeling? So I would not be a seamstress <laughs> at all. <laughs> I would try, you know, I would definitely try to learn, you know, because I think it's important to, you know, un- have an under- a basic understanding of each of the facets. But right. I would like to design clothing. And that's something For I've been- home? For women. Oh, okay. Make sure. um, specifically? Specifically? No, I say for women. However, I have always gravitated, gravitated towards men's clothing as well. I think, like, men's clothing is, like, really cool. Um, mm-hmm, so. A lot of the silhouettes and stuff like that. Please so make I would, it affordable. And it could be, you know... it it's it, expensive. Yeah, it could be gender neutral. It doesn't have to be male or female. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I really want to put some effort towards, like, designing. Okay. And I don't want to just, like kind of live this mundane like humdrum life where I'm just like going uh, through the Silicon motions. Valley tech world lifestyle. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want that. Like that's not who I am. I only have one life to live and yes, I want to I want to leave this place happy and like satisfied with the footprint that mm-hmm. I left. Yeah, so I, I hope that for 2020 I can do more than what's in my workspace, mm-hmm. you know, at work. Mm-hmm. And I hope the same for other people. I hope that they really start to think about like what makes them happy. Like you don't have to settle on one thing. You can be a jack of all trades. Facts. Mm-hmm. Use your time wisely. <laughs> the jack Real of all talk. Trades Use your things. time wisely. You can be a jack of all trades, but at what point do you master one? You know what I'm saying? Or can you do no, all of them well? I'm saying you don't have to. The goal doesn't have to be to master all of them, right? Mm-hmm. You could be a master in one, but that is you don't have to settle with that. Like, right. who says you have to be one thing? I mean, right. a lot no, of the absolutely. people that folks look up to, like, let's say they started off as a musician. Let's use someone like Chris Ice Brown. Cube. Chris or- Brown? 
<laughs> that nigga do everything. Do yeah, he? I think it's his what don't thing. he do? He does do a lot of things. He but does. I'm saying, like, he does. Anyone he does. who like you, for they for started real. in one avenue, right? Oh, they Rihanna. were a rapper or a singer or you know maybe mm-hmm. they were a designer and then they turned to rap and like you don't know. I don't think you should limit yourself. Yeah, though. right. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. So the kids just do what you want to do. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like I if think- you want to live that mundane love lifestyle that Lauren mentioned. More power to you. We need people like that's, that. That's that's totally fine. Mm-hmm. But that's not yeah. what'll, you know, make you happy. No, right. I think I was the other day. I was actually randomly on YouTube. I was listening to Jay Z's uh, interview with um, I forgot his name. It's like a, a corporate dude with a tux, whatever. Oh, not a tux. It's a recent too. <laughs> it's like two years ago, whatever. <laughs> and he asked him. He was like, "What success?" The 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 conversation revolved around success, and Jay Z was like. Oh, um, he was like, if you're, if you could tap into whatever that you feel is like, this is what I'm put on earth for, like you're calling basically like a kind of like a purpose. Mm -hmm. And he was like, then I think you reach successful. Like you, then you reach success. Cause I don't think you're. Wait, hold on. Sorry, it just really started raining. Is it raining or them gunshots? (laughs) Don't tell our followers we in the ghetto. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, we keep it authentic. I got a little nervous. I'm sorry, man. (laughs) All in 2020. I was like, why are they looking at me like that? So y'all started looking <laughs> know, at me hella weird. Sorry. And I'm like, I'm pretty okay, sure but- I'm on the topic. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not off topic. I thought but- I was the only one. I can't go up there. Nah, but he was saying like, if you could, f- I think the hardest thing for, for, for us to do is figure out like what, what puts you in like inner peace and like what your purpose is truly. And that does like, a, that does take a lot of self work. But if you could get as close to it as the year goes by, like you might not even know, but if you're like, okay, if I take mm-hmm. this step, I think it's closer to like what I truly am meant to do. Right. It might be dancing, it might be rapping, I don't know. But mm-hmm. like if you could just push those barriers and at the end you could be like, I think I've I think I've got close to what mm-hmm. I'm meant mm-hmm. to do. You know what I mean? Like this is what makes me alive. I think you're you're successful in that sense. And I was just like, damn, that's deep. Like I truly believe that too. And I think Cause you could be like no, you, yeah. you could be like successful as a monetary successful. Like mm-hmm. you could have a you could be a you could have your own startup right. in the tech in Silicon Valley. We don't need no more startups. You could blow up <laughs> and <laughs> we need some in downs. But I'm saying like you could be successful in that Stupid. term. But if you don't deep inside, if you don't feel like man, this is what I'm here to do, then I don't think you reach success. You're not successful. I'm sorry, yeah. bro. Like you got money, but yeah, yeah, evaluate my life. Yeah. Well, if it's what you want to do, oh, if your yeah. virtue <laughs> success is money, then you did it. But I also think oh, yeah. if fear. <laughs> As you mentioned earlier, I think if fear is something that's holding you back, then you kind of have to reevaluate your situation. Right. I don't think that you've fully achieved or attained everything that you can in life if fear is still like a motivating factor in like the decisions you make. Right. So a lot of times people don't pursue dreams or different avenues because like, oh, well, what if I fail? I may not be the best at that, but the goal is not to be the best at it, but just to kind of explore it. And then you get to learn whether Mm -hmm. or not... Mm -hmm. It's it's for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was actually talking about like fear in the other sense because like you go after like some goals because you have a fear of like something else happening. Like some people have like a fear of like being broke. Right. Cool. I'm terrified. Get up of your ass. Get up out of your ass and then get to work. (laughs) Yeah, get out! You got a fear own. of being broke. You want get, you up, to get up out, out of your, your ass, ass. and get to work. Crawl out your asshole and get oh, to work. Oh God! No. <laughs> get up Door out dash. your ass. DoorDash, Uber Eats, <laughs> something. But you think we working to be broke? <laughs> that saying, is very true. Right? Shit, a lot of people in the Bay. I'm saying. I know it's hard broke. out here in yeah. the Bay, y'all. The that bay was gonna is, be another bay one is of my expensive goals for 2020. What's the move out the Bay? No. Oh. To secure say, myself here in the Bay Area Ooh, with, because <laughs> that with shit hard. The financial situation you're in. No, I want real estate. Oh, oh yeah, smart yeah. moves. It is. Yeah, you got to so maneuver smart, around though. that industry too, though. But I'm moving. No, I'm playing. Oh, <laughs> say bye, nigga. <laughs> you trying to leave us already? No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm oh, gonna be hey, y'all make my 2020 anticipation. I feel bad. Like, my what you feel about, bad? No. I was about sports and y'all was about <laughs> no, growth no. and shit. <laughs> I know. Because I, I like, hope the Lakers win. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and that's his goal. Let him have his goal. But I do want to talk about, you know, yeah. hey, what about, are you like, going to do to contribute with the and Lakers? And and stuff like that. Like, which like, celebrity or like influential person you think is going to have a bomb 2020? Oh. 
That's a good question. As celebrity, like as far as artists, artists, they can they can be a painter. Well, right? you know who's gonna have a good twenty twenty, and this is my girl. She's I, don't say been Lizzo. on the up and up. I'm don't. not gonna say Lizzo. Good. She's I been on the up and up. Her. I love her, and you know she had a major deal this year. Rihanna. I knew you were gonna say Rihanna. You know I love my Riri, mm-hmm. she ain't and making I no think more music. that's t- perfectly fine. She's Rihanna's like, making money moves. But money don't mean success. It doesn't. But According she seems, to a bill. But she seems no, very saying, happy. I don't know. Hey, money she's is like success in a way too, though, because you don't want to be broke talking about. No, no. I'm saying no, no. I'm look. Look. This is the perspective that I was coming from. If you I'm think broke, like nigga. as long as. <laughs> Getting money in that specific profession, mm-hmm. if it fulfills your heart, and if yes. that's what you think you're meant to do, by any means, you're right. successful. Mm-hmm. If you get money, though, you're a politician, you're selling out your people, you're not successful. If you deep down feel like I'm selling out to my people right. and this is by Shit, this is I'm not my purpose. Money, <laughs> and I'm living my life. If you Cameron, then that's all right. Fuck my right. people, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> <Better stop. laughs> but I'm saying like, I'm just playing. I think there's a lot of things that you got it like you do. I feel like there's a lot of people that, that got money, they do what they do, uh, that that's outside of their values. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. True Absolutely. value. Like if your values and that to me is not, not successful. Or your morals. Yeah. But right. getting money is being successful because mm. that shit is hard. Yeah. If that shit was easy, everybody be doing it. So I guess exactly. everybody be rich. Get to yes, the bag. back to Rihanna. Rihanna is getting her oh, money and she's opening ass. doors for a lot of people. And she, yes, she is. Um, so yeah, I, I expect Rihanna to have a great 2020. Well, I expect mm-hmm. And I hope she drops an album. Right. You know, she'll be like, who sent you? But any other Fenty <laughs> stuff, I'm going to be first in line. Fenty a little high. I'm trying to shoot some Fenty shit if we're being honest. Mm <laughs> hmm. Man, Roshad, who you think? What celebrity? We gonna skip over cameras, so you you? pull off. <laughs> but Roshad, what celebrity you think gonna have a big twenty twenty? Um, well, that's a good question because I actually don't know the answer to my own question. Thank God. But, but it's a a couple I have in mind. You know, like it's just like celebrities. Like I just like want like the best for them. Like one is like Kiki Palmer. Oh yes, love Kiki. Love yes. Keeks. I don't know who that man is. <laughs> Sorry, to oh, just man. Say that Sorry to that man. Um, but I love Kiki. And like, you know, Kiki been working. Kiki stay working. So I just like want like the best for her. Also, like, I want, you know, Normani. To, like, the, I want her to do, you know, uh, do have a better 2020. You know, I'm here for Normani. So like, I want her to yeah. like, you know, have you all the success. that song with Black, Six Lack, Slack, however the fuck is that nigga name. <laughs> How that do you say that name? I say it three different ways to appease so everybody. Is it just black I know it's black, black but when I say black, else. it's too many mm-hmm. blacks out there. You know what I'm saying? They're black, which one? Nigga, Kodak, all black. Like it's hella oh, black. I didn't even think of saying? that. Me either. I didn't. <laughs> so I always say, man, six exactly. slack, nigga. I like six I have black. A shit. Okay. But yeah, is no, anybody else? Tight. So you said Normani and who's the other one? Uh, Kiki. Kiki. Yes. Shout out to Kiki. Mm-hmm. You said you had another one. Who else you had? Yes, so music. Okay, okay music. this okay, music. year, okay, I thoroughly enjoyed watching Rhythm and Flow in 2019. Rhythm and Flow, yes, and, yes. And I definitely like. I really, it was amazing to yeah, see like how, hard. He do go yeah, hard. like he right. shot he up nice. immediately as soon he as nice. people heard him. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I love music like that. I love rap music like you that. Do. Like. It's so good. It's lyrical. It's very cerebral. Mm. And I expect him to have a very big year. Can I say what I hate about the results for that? Okay, go. I hate the fact that people are like, well, he was already introduced to the music industry and his brother is Sir and he's been around. That don't mean nothing. Who is Sir? Oh, I'm shy. Whatever. What did he say? He said, who is Sir? You what? sound like a, a bell with the last episode of Marvel. <laughs> Um, I I barely know her. Like, regardless of who you know, you still have to have the talent and professionalism to do it. Exactly. He went on that show on his own, regardless of who he He knew. He killed. Nobody knew who the fuck he knew until the end of the show. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. He He handled himself very well. He was an all around professional. He messed up maybe once. And even when he messed up, it was still good. They were all good. They all messed up, though. He for sure deserved it. He did did amazing. Mm -hmm. I I did like... I his album. I like Flawless. Flawless is like one of my faves. He was a great battle rapper. He ate beans alive. Oh, beans. Like with some chili, with some rice and a cornbread. Oh, sorry. Okay, so those were my 2020 folks who I think will have a good year. What about you? He already on um, the Games album. And the song is Fire. Yeah. 
I can't yeah, record a song right now, but Khaled he already up in the studio working with Hit Boy, working with all them dudes. Like I follow him on Instagram. I do too. I got my little t shirts. Super good. He go hard. He for sure go hard. And then the fact that he put Spanish in there and it works and it rhymes and it means something. Hey, you understand Spanish? Yes. I could read Spanish. <laughs> like, if you put up captions and you talk, I could read Not Spanish. Not put up captions. But when you're listening to them, and... like, if you talk in a, like, we having a conversation and yeah. you talk it slow, uh-huh. yes, I can decipher it. Okay. But don't be talking to me like hella fast and shit, okay. like Maria down the street. Not, shit. Don't do Maria. Nah, hell no. Nah. I ain't going <laughs> to, I ain't going to understand it. No, I ain't going to understand it. Next topic. So, uh, a bell for uh-huh. 2020. Who do you think is gonna have a? Who gonna be a popping in 2020? Year? Who gonna yeah. be popping? Oh, they gotta have man. a breakout. They can just be popping. Yeah, <laughs> they, they gotta be, be new. <laughs> right? Because we don't know them. Um, <laughs> man, I think. Well, I'm waiting on to hear from. Like, I want Kendrick to release another project. Okay. But that's really he at the top, so it's like it doesn't even matter. Oh. That's a great question. What happened? Mm-hmm. Do we need both of them? That's a great question. Oh I would say yes because I like both of them. You, on the other hand, you know, you just need one. And you you satisfied. I, I want both. I would say, Rashad, your music taste is different. It is different. Okay. Because it's you mine. You with Kendrick? I, I, he like Lizzo. That whoa. says it all. Whoa. Lizzo, whoa. don't do next Lizzo. topic. We ain't doing. <laughs> don't I'm do Lizzo. Saying, I'm just saying it's been a, it, 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 mm, what two Who? years? Who? Damn, came out what 2018. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, oh, so damn. I think it's just I, as a fan of Kendrick, <laughs> I just want him to release some Absolutely. new shit. That's Absolutely. all I'm saying. But as far as who's gonna be the next, whatever, yeah, like who's gonna have a breakout year? I think a lot of people will, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but shoot, who hasn't released something this recent? And it doesn't have to be music. It can be movies, movies, and all that type of stuff. Movies. Shit, it can be politics. <laughs> well, uh, I'm. We. And I'm the fucking a, drain with politics. <laughs> I'm just saying. Screw no good. I'm going to wait for Obama the next Obama come season. back, brother. We hey, miss not. it. <laughs> for real though, I'm, I'm waiting for the next season of Atlanta. Childish Gambino. Yeah. Oh, His, season. Season Child, three. Season three. still talking about politics. Season three. <laughs> season three. I think. I believe it's season, season three or four. We're talking about but paprika. I'm looking for that. I think, <laughs> I think it comes out New Year's or February. Somewhere. Yeah. I've seen a couple of episodes of Atlanta. I Atlanta yet. I kind of liked it. I fucked with it. I haven't seen it yet. Me either. I mean, I've heard great things it. about yeah. it. I like it. I like Atlanta. Cool. I think, I think cool. for me, I'm going to keep mine real local. Um, oh. For like Oakland artists. Like the Bay produces a lot of musical talent, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. our support system isn't as good. So the talent or the spark for it is really short. The flame is small. Mm-hmm. But legendary, spelled with a V, like it's. Oh, oh, I like some yeah. of them songs. Yeah, like he is going to be. Like top notch. Like mm-hmm. give it some time. He's been down grinding, doing his thing. His visuals are amazing. The way he's marketing his stuff. He got a clothing line that's separate than his music and it's doing good too. Like mm-hmm. the first half of what he was doing was storytelling. And now he's on like, you know, I'm on that hyphy move and I'm talking my shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's still quality music. He's not talking about drugs and, and fucking bitches and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's really good music. I mm-hmm. think 2020 is going to be his year for sure. Yeah, I think so too. For sure. in the safe way the other day. Oh, uh, yeah. You yeah. probably did. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say you didn't. You probably did. See the in safe way. Shit. But yeah. What do you think sure. it is, though, about like Bay Area artists that Ooh, girl, like they seemingly topic. haven't been able to like, you Pop. know, take off in the same way you hear like, there be there's been like a good jillion artists out of like Atlanta or even New York. Like it's something about I don't know what it is. It's I can't say what it system. is, but everybody in Atlanta, they help each other up. They put each other on each other's music. Out here, it's the mentality like I'm gonna do it on my own. I don't need your help. But when I get up, I'm definitely not coming to bring you up either. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a one man show. Mm-hmm. It's the mentality where I'm gonna do it on my own. And fuck everybody else, you know what I'm saying? And that's not the way to move. And that's why nobody moves out here. Right. Mm. I think, it, I, I do kind of see that. I kind of also think like here in the Bay, like we also like fighting a different battle at the moment. Like we going like, it's a, it's a whole like tech industry phase, you know, going on here. It's all like gentrification, like people moving out, people being like separated and stuff like that. So like the core of like 
um, Bay Area music has like kind of like shifted and it's moving, and then you uh. kind of haven't like got that feel back together yet. Because like no other like area like New York, Atlanta, and, like even LA is like going through like these drastic changes that's happened to Bay Area, and people are, like moving. It's like new people coming in, so like that culture is like shifting, and I think that sound has been found yet. Because yeah. like the like it got to be like a, a general sound first. Like it got to be like a general wavelength that all these artists are on for like you know for it to be like pop in. Yeah, for the masses to be. Um, yeah. I think that's a valid point. Um, like, we got we fighting some other battles. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, well, mm-hmm. I think everyone here has said their take on right. what they think 2020 will look like for themselves, what 2020 mm-hmm. may look like for pop culture, right? And right. I guess the Lakers. Hey, um, Laker gang. Yeah, so go in the comments, put down your aspirations for 2020, and we see if it's in line with ours and see if we agree or disagree, because, you know, some people need different aspirations. Just saying. Yeah, some of y'all need some help. Hey, I want to travel more too in 2020. Yup. Yup, yeah, yup. Traveling mm-hmm. is important. Mm-hmm. I want to travel. Hey, local traveling, too. too. I want to go to, like... Vegas. I Not logo. I ain't this never been to said, Vegas, Vegas. So I want to start off we with Vegas. Going. I want to go to... Okay, 95. <laughs> I thought he was to Monterey. Closer? New York. <laughs> I want to go to New York. I ain't never been to New York. I'm just saying, like, I never been to New York. I want to go yeah. to D.C., Atlanta. D.C. is beautiful. Texas. Like, I just want to visit yeah. states. Oh, start local. More states. Because I started off with outside. I my wife me, in D.C. Okay. Like outside, I want to start off with the states. I guess you is from for local is yeah. Traveling is very important. Traveling mm. allows you to learn so more about yourself the world. and, and get also cultured a little get, bit. Yeah, you get to learn Facts. about why Facts. people cultures kind of develop the way that they did. They did, mm-hmm. and why that they why they exist the way that they currently do. Right. Um, and I think it gives you a little bit more compassion for folks, um, right. their differences, and you don't start to be. Like, you're less judgmental. Um, I think a lot of people uh, stay where they grew up. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't leave that place. And so that your vision of the world is very small. Right. And I can't fully blame you if you don't have the means <laughs> right. to True. travel Hard. beyond Traveling that. Yeah, so I can't, I, can't, I can't blame you. So traveling is definitely very important. I hope that everyone travels, whether it is... It doesn't have to be very far. It can be within your state, mm-hmm. maybe to some place you've never been before. Yeah. Because uh, go hiking odds with your are homies. it's very different. Like, for real. Or going like the tourist like, areas and like I places you've never been. Exactly. Do some fun, for real. I, I want to do that in 2020. I did all that shit already. I'm over hiking. Mini Fuck trips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, hopefully everyone travels. Hopefully everyone, you know, develops a hobby of theirs. Hopefully Get that money, it, man. All that, you know, date a little bit. If you're yeah. not dating, mm-hmm. you know, just... Follow ex- your passions. Follow your dreams. Be happy. Be yeah. healthy. Live your best life. Exactly. But what does that mean? Uh, it means I was going to say that. For everybody differently. All right. Yeah, I can Live tell you your, your best, best life. life. It's not you know, my hey, you best You know life. when people be like posting on social media here, like, oh, I'm living my, my best, best life. life. Nigga, you eat nachos. <laughs> that nachos <laughs> your best, best life. life. I no. love nachos. You do love some nachos. I love me some nachos. And when you eat them, you live your best imagine, life, thank you. Exactly. I don't know. I just imagine if I'm not, if I'm living my best life, I don't think I'm capturing it. That's real. What if I'm living my best you? life, I ain't showing sure, y'all I'm living it. The fuck? Take a picture real quick. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> Take a picture. I'm just gonna like, nah, nah, hell no. Nah. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Okay. So viewers at home, help us live our best life. Make sure you live yours. Um, How when, are you gonna help us? They can, when they can follow us on um the medias. What That's is what cute, is our medias? What is our medias? Oh yeah. What's your? You what's that with yours? Abel. Oh, oh, you talking about individual? Oh, Abby yeah. Russ. And then we we'll, we we'll close it up with the full oh, one. Abby Russ. So A B I. I R U S S Abby Russ. Okay. okay, and on Instagram, that is Instagram on Instagram, only, by the way. I am Cool Keys, C O O L K E Y E S. Yes, e. come through. Emphasis on the E <laughs> after the Y before the S. <laughs> um, on Instagram, I'm um, Shots underscore Space. That's S Space Walkers. <laughs> It's all the fans out there. <laughs> no, Jupiter is my favorite planet. But S S H A D S underscore. Space, I, d- I didn't know that. What, Jupiter was fine? Yeah, I didn't know you had we a We will all die if Jupiter was not here in the solar system. No, that's another, another, I know, but another topic. Um, <laughs> my, what are we doing? Oh, Instagram. Clicks. Yeah, my Instagram clicks by Cam. K-L-I-C-K-S-B-Y-K-A-M. That goes for Twitter. 
That goes for Facebook. That goes for YouTube. That goes for everything. Mm-hmm. On everything. On YouTube. Follow me on everything. Right. And then our collective is a next topic podcast. That's on everything as well. Um, is it the next topic or just no? Nah, just next topic mm-hmm. podcast. Okay, I'm glad you said uh, that. Us. Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> next topic podcast. Send in anything you want us to talk about, anything like that. But before we wrap this motherfucker up, Let's shout do some shout outs. Thank you. I was gonna forget that. So shout out was. to the homie Jerome, Jerome Reed the Third. Oh. Let me let me say his Insta real quick. So this the shirt that I'm wearing right now uh-huh. is made by him from scratch. It's everything, nice. It is cute. Everything hey, from scratch. It's nice. This man <laughs> is talented, y'all. Hold on. He got an extra large. Let me say. Nice velvet. And a nice everything. velvet. Burgundy. The collar. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I wear large. Somebody wear talk while large. I pull this up. Yeah, so like after you find his show, show like every couple of episodes, we're gonna give a shout outs to like people we think doing it big. Yup, we're gonna have Keep special going. guests. You feel me? <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's see, we want to hear what y'all are doing, and then we want to hear your opinion on half the shit we talking about, too. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh-huh. Be nice though. No, y'all gotta be nice. Fuck that. Be, be nice, nice to me. Be mean, I to, am nice. be mean to Cameron. Wow. Don't do Rochad. I'm gonna protect look, Rochad. Gilda. Yes. See? Hey, look. Talk okay, about well, speaking of Gildas. I didn't, why you looking at me? To, no. Shout out to my homegirl, Paris Makeover. Paris right, Makeover. R I S Makeover. Got it. Follow her on Instagram. Mm-hmm. She always keeps my hair looking laid. laid. She tight. She tight. And everyone else here in the Bay Area. So follow I, her. I mm-hmm. Hit her up. Yes. Right. Yes, sir. All right. So his his page is called <laughs> Tribe Called Juice. So Tribe. Cold all together underscore juice. So tribe cold underscore juice. And you see all his clothes he made there. So give him a follow, buy his shit, all that. Cool. It's the show. That's the end of episode two. I guess we'll see y'all motherfuckers next week. Next week and on we the out. next topic. Yeah. Next topic Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> y'all see that catch? Ooh, that was smooth as fuck. I know y'all seen that. We missed it. Oh, you want me to do it again? No, no, no. We're okay. <laughs> Ooh, you missed it. <laughs>